Hey, what is up? It is Anthony with Military Millionaire Mentor and uh, the Boost to Billions podcast. So I'm covering two today. I'm doing a video and a podcast. So today is Memorial Day. Today is the day that we remember all the fallen heroes, the people that have died serving our country. So as everyone knows, I was lucky enough to make it through 22 years uh, in the military, and my wife was lucky enough to make it through 21 years. Uh, but today, it's not about me. It's about those that served. But while I was in for my 22 years, I had the distinctive pleasure of serving with a Daniel Zerbe, a tech sergeant, Daniel Zerbe. So what was great about him, he was an Air Force pararescueman. And as some of you may know, a pararescueman, we're, the, we're called PJs, the guys that jump behind enemy lines. We go in there when stuff really, the shit just hits the fan and uh, you need somebody to come grab you. So anyway, Dan Zerby. So Dan Zerby and I, I got to know Dan Zerby uh, probably right, you know, as he was, I, he was maybe 18 or 19. We were in uh, Indoc together. So what Indoc is, Indoc is the uh, indoctrination course at Lackland Air Force Base. So we were there together, uh, making it through, doing whatever. You know, I, I got to buddy breathe with the guy, carry logs with the guy, do all the stuff, uh, go through the pipeline, do everything. Uh, so he went on. He went on uh, and continued his career. And then one day in Afghanistan in 2011, a, uh, a helicopter uh, got shot down. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read uh, the official uh, thing here, but... You know, they were out there protecting, it was like 25, there was a lot of people that died that day. There was many SEALs that died. There was Air Force, a few uh, pararescue men, two or three pararescue men, one combat controller. Uh, I didn't know all of them, uh, but it was, a, it was a sad day. We lost a lot of lives in that one day. So an RPG hit their helicopter. Anyway, this is how we remember Mr. Daniel Zerby. All right, he was a technical sergeant in the Air Force in E6. He was a veteran of... Uh, the War on Terrorism, Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, multiple deployments, uh, Operation Iraqi Enduring Free Operation Iraqi Freedom uh, with multiple deployments. Daniel Zerbe was born on June 27, 1983 in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. He enlisted in the United States Air Force on August 21, 2001 and completed basic training at Lackland Air Force Base, Texas in 2001. After completing the United States Air Force Pararescue tra tra Training Pipeline, Sergeant Zerby served as a pararescueman with the 38th Rescue Squadron at Moody Air Force Base, Georgia, in March 2003 to Mar May 2006. He then served as a PJ and Special Tactics Team Member at the 24th Special Tactics Squadron, or what we would call the 2-4 STS, at Pope Air Force Base uh, in North Carolina. From May 2006 until he was killed in action, when a CH-47 Chinook helicopter he was aboard was shot down in Afghanistan on August 6, 2011. During this time, Tech Sergeant Zerby deployed multiple times to Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom and in Iraq in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Daniel Zerby was buried at the Arlington National C Cemetery. His second Bronze Star with Valor citation read, For excep exceptionally valorous achievement as an assault force pararescueman, for a joint task force in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. On this date, Sergeant Zerby's bravery under fire and decisive actions were instrumental to the elimination of a high-ranking Taliban facilitator and enemy combatants. During an intense firefight without regard for his own personal safety, Sergeant Zerby exposed himself to enemy contact and maneuvered to a position of tactical advantage, enabling him to eliminate armed enemy combatants. His actions were crucial in the... In in ensuring protection of the assault force and the success of the mission. Through his distinctive accomplishments, Staff Sergeant Zerby reflected great credit upon himself, the command, and the United States Air Force. So, his fourth Bronze Star reads, for exceptionally meritorious achievement as an assault force pararescueman for a joint task force in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. During this period, Sergeant Zerby conducted several objectives resulting in multiple enemies eliminated and detained he led the full-spectrum medical and rescue planning, ensuring the successful execution of the task force's highest priority missions. On 4 August 2011, Sergeant Zerby 
and his team responded on a mission to eliminate or capture a high-value Taliban commander in Afghanistan. His helicopter was attacked in the target area by enemy fighters and was shot down by a rocket repel grenade. Through his distinctive accomplishments, Technical Sergeant Zerbe reflected great credit upon himself, his command in the United States Air Force. So there was so much more to Dan Zerbe than just reads in this. You know, he, uh, he was remembered. You can go online, you know, type in his name, see what his family, see what his friends uh, had to say about him uh, at his funeral. Uh, he was only 28 years old when he died. He was very, very young. Uh, and, you know, he was, I remember when he was in, in PJ school, he was always smiling, always laughing. You know, when you're 18 and, and you, everything's just fun, you know, even though it was suck, you know, it, the, the suck factor was high. He was smiling. He was having fun. And he made it. You know, he was a great guy among all the others who died in that one, that one fateful day in Afghanistan. So here's to everyone out there that has served, that's remembering the fallen heroes today. There's tons and tons, you know, pretty much almost most people either have had a family member serve, had friends serve, some haven't came back. Uh, in our community here, we are a very uh, heavy military town, and uh, you can just look around. On days like today, uh, the cemeteries are full. We're remembering our people. Uh, we all gather. So as you're out enjoying this holiday and your day off, please remember, take the time. Just go look up. Just look up somebody that died serving our country. Just read their citation. Just read a little bit of what they did to, to, to sacrifice so you could cook hamburgers, cook hot dogs, and hang out by the pool because they made the ultimate sacrifice for your freedom. All right, I love you, and I'll come at you later this week. All right, have a great one.